Welcome to Touch Panel Design 4, Chameleon Images. TP Design 4 supports an amazing button state property called Chameleon Images that makes it possible to change button colors on the same image. Set up, edit, and execute chameleons directly in TPD4. These do not involve layering multiple images to achieve the effect of button color changes. Modifying and creating chameleon images in TP Design 4 is easy. Chameleons use the standard four color channels utilized by .png images, red, green, blue, and alpha, to determine the colors used in the button image. The pure green channel defines the part that will be designated with the state's border color. The pure red channel indicates the area of an image that will contain the button state's fill color, and the blue channel simply is not used. The key to chameleon images is this. Before importing an image, you designate parts of it as pure red and pure green. Then, the button state properties called fill color and border color display the colors that you assign, changing according to what you have them set as in states 1 and states 2, also known as the off state and the on state. There are only three basic requirements for an image to be recognized as a chameleon image in TPD4. The color mode is set to RGB, the imported image is a .png image file, and it has a transparent background, which is the alpha channel. Let's learn how to set up a chameleon. Begin with an image that has been created or modified in a graphic design program, such as Illustrator, Photoshop, Fireworks, etc. We're using Fireworks. When working with an image to be used as a chameleon, set the colors that you want to see morph into changing colors as pure red and pure green. It is precisely these two colors that will be replaced when going from the off state of a button to an on state and back again. This means that at most, two colors can be changed at one time. On the RGB color scale, pure red is red at 255 with green and blue at zero. Pure green is green at 255 and red and blue at zero. The alpha channel refers to the overall shape of the button. Alpha is black, it's a knockout, so anywhere there is black, there will be no color. When creating the PNG, if you make the entire background black, it won't show when it's brought into TPD4. After you're satisfied with the red, green, and alpha channels, save or export the image as a PNG file with 32-bit RGB color in order for it to be interpreted correctly by TPD4 as a chameleon image. Now, in TP Design 4, go to the Resource Manager to import the image file for use. Under the Images tab, click Import. Locate the image you set with the red and green channels. After you get it into the Resource Manager, then close the Resource Manager. This does not get the image into the button, but it makes it accessible in TPD4. Create or select a button in Design View to which you'll apply the chameleon image. Under the General tab, set the button type as General. Note that the chameleon image property will not reveal if the type is set to text input, computer control, or take note. There are other choices. We'll keep it set as general. With the button you're working with selected in Button Properties, go to the States tab and open All States. In the property line for the button's border name, set it to None, and this reveals the chameleon image property directly beneath it. Now it's time to get the image into the button. Next to Chameleon Image Property, double-click in the field or click on the ellipsis to open the Select Resource box. Under the Images tab, choose the image you want and click OK to apply it to the button. After applying the image, any part of the image that was set as pure red now matches the color specified in the Fill Color State property. And any portion of the image that was set as pure green now matches the color set in the Border Color State property. Understand that a border does not have to be a border around an image, nor does a fill need to be a color inside an image. In the context of chameleon images, the terms fill and border simply identify two color areas that can be changed. Here's an example of a lamp. We've modified its colors in graphics software with pure red and green, saved it as a PNG. We bring it into the resource manager, then into TPD4 through the select resource. The lampshade that was set as green with a red base 
now shows as brown with a pink base. When the button is touched on the touch panel, it will change to a lamp with a blue shade and a yellow base. The alpha channel picked up by TPD4 is black and does not show. There is an exception to the rule on pure red and pure green. You can set these colors as transparent prior to exporting them from your graphics tool when you want a drop shadow or a glow effect. Here is an example that I've already imported and we can see the effect by going to the button preview. This concludes the basics for creating and modifying chameleon images. Thanks for watching.